All right, guys, welcome to the live stream, finally, with audio. That's, that's a bonus just for you guys. Don't do it for everybody. You can ask the live chat. So this is the comment show for my uh, how to make a cheap Alexa printer video. And if you haven't seen it, there's links in the description. So watch all of them. Um, and uh, the reason that I'm doing the live stream is because uh, you guys voted in favor of doing it again as opposed to the previous comment show. It was 44% to 58%, 55%. So uh, um, thanks to you guys for all voting and for you all that didn't care for the live stream. I apologize. You know that's, that's what the voting process is for. So let's get to the comments. Make it print all the comments you get. No. Congrats on 500,000 subscribers. 500,000 subscribers! Yes, finally got it. It only took eight years of being on YouTube to get to half a million subscribers. Um, but I do want to sincerely thank you guys for all being subscribers. And to show my appreciation, I am going to be doing a 500,000 subscriber contest. Um, although I don't have the details about it yet. Uh, I am still kind of ironing that out. But if you all have any suggestions on what type of contest you'd like me to do, um, please leave that in the comments. And I will. I am open to any considerations. High-pitched noise in the background. Okay, cutting it down. Thank you very much. On to the next contest. All right, next comment. That to ding noise is annoying. Please avoid using it. I do find it interesting uh, uh, how many people do have feedback as far as uh, what type of music I use or what type of sound effects I use. Um, and I do appreciate everybody's opinion on it, although I can't address all of them and nobody will ever seem to be happy no matter what I settle upon. I've even gone so far as to do a video with no audio background noise whatsoever and it didn't go over well either. Um, so. Just for you, however, I'm going to replace the ta-ding noise with a sheep noise. And that's probably going to get annoying quick, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the ta-ding noise is actually just the Mario coin noise from the Mario video games. So for me, it's nostalgic, and I figured with as many people that played Mario, that would be one of the less annoying sounds, since you hear it constantly throughout the Mario games. But to each their own, for now we'll just go with the sheep. <laughs> that regulator might get quite hot. Clip on heat sink or buck converter? <laughs> bah. Very good suggestion. Yes, the voltage regulators do tend to get very hot. Uh, it's just the nature of how they are. So um, it, it would probably be wise to strap on a heat sink to it so it doesn't get overly hot. But uh, but it depends on your use case. And heat sinks are pretty cheap to come by. You could probably even make your own. <laughs> Please record your screen at a higher quality. So hard to read the text. Uh, yes, the sound is now working. I am going to get rid of that text. Um, so the screen recorder, here's the issue with that. Uh, I went through the entire process of recording all my actions and I just recorded it full screen because I didn't know where the windows were going to pop up and I figured that I could re-record everything later. As it turns out, with a new son and a full-time job, I did not have time to re-record everything later. So I went with the, uh, the full screen recording that I had and I just zoomed in on the necessary windows. Yes, I did realize during post-production that it was going to be very pixelated, but unfortunately I didn't have time to redo the entire tutorial uh, as far as screen recordings go. So I do apologize. I will try not to make that mistake later, but I do understand your frustration. <laughs> There's pixelization for you. Is it just me or were you talking a little quiet? No, as you guys can see, I have a lot of audio problems. Um, it, it is, especially during the live stream, it's difficult to figure out. But what uh, what happened was, oh God, that 
that ba sound. I am so sorry, guys. Um, what I what happened was I ended up getting a new microphone set, a wireless microphone set, and uh, and was just experimenting with the different audio levels on it. And yes, it did turn out a bit quiet, but only in comparison to the background music. Um, so uh, so. I will do both. I will try to slightly crank up the audio on the wireless microphone and I will definitely crank down the audio of the background music and sound effects. Could I do this with Google Home? <sighs> so you can do this with a lot of different things. It just all depends on the limitations of if this then that, that web service. So, um, so if you want to do things with Google Home, go to If This Then That, find the Google Home channel and see what options they have available. Um, they probably don't have the exact same options that I'm using with my uh, Amazon Echo, but uh, they may have more options. So just see what Google Home has available. Figure out what you want to do with it and see if you can make that happen. How do you print tweets? Good question. Um, what I have done is I have uh, taken the code that I used to print my tweets in the example that was probably in the very first uh, show off video that I did um, but I didn't include that code in the tutorial so what I've done is bah, created a, a github account uh, um, with for and with for the Alexa Pi printer, and uh, I've posted that code at this link. So if you go to this link, you'll you'll find the code for printing tweets, and then you just have to set it up in if this then that. Find the uh, Twitter channel, and select which action you want. It can be every time you get an at mention or an at reply, or every time somebody from your uh, that you're following tweets, or every time you favorite a tweet. They have a lot of different options. And then you can just set that to your web hooks to point to your Raspberry Pi. So it's a very similar process, just slightly different code. As an NGROC alternative, I recommend PageKite. So I did a pretty bad job of explaining why I decided to use NGROC as opposed to uh, what many of you suggested, which was dynamic DNS and port forwarding. So that is a legitimate solution using port forwarding and a dynamic DNS account. So, um, so if you want to go that route, that's fine. Um, I had just recently found NGROC and realized that it's a bit more secure because you don't have to open up extra ports on your firewall to let things through. So that is the reason that I decided to go with NGROC. Unfortunately, um, there are limitations to the free account and uh, you have to uh, pay to get, for instance, a static IP address um, or a static DNS. So, um, so uh, an alternative that was just suggested is PageKite. So if you go to pagekite.net, it's a very similar service. Um, and they do have paid tiers as well, but their free tier, um, you can actually you can actually get like the full usage of it if you do things like uh, like promote them on your Twitter account, like give them a shout out on social media or something like that. Um, in exchange for that shout out, they will give you uh, uh, full access to their service. So that is a good alternative. I was going to keep this comment show family friendly, but I have to say it. <laughs> Almonds. Thank you for that, good bean. All right, guys, that is it for this version of the comment show. Um, uh, as far as announcements, there is the subscriber contest that I'm wanting to do. Uh, so, uh, again, leave me your comments and feedback for that. Um, and uh, I, the next video is gonna be my April Fool's project. That's the March video. And uh, um, I don't have a preview for it for right now, but I will tell you that it involves a Coke bottle. So what would you guys do with a Coke bottle? Let me know uh, in the comments what you would do and, uh, and you'll see what I end up doing with it in the next project, which will be in a couple weeks in March.